DMV says more than 900,000 crashes happen every year in our state because of those wet roads. So be careful out there, folks. And of course, remember, you're never more than 10 minutes away from weather here on Action News Now. Brian Ramsey's in the Storm Tracker Center with our forecast. And yay, the rain is a welcome sight. Yes, it is. You definitely do want to take it careful on the roadways out there. I was driving on the roads this morning on my way to work, and an owl actually flew and landed on the road. If I didn't see it ahead of time, I would have hit that owl. But in case, since I had time to break, I, I didn't slide on the slick roadway. So please just pay attention on the roadways. But of course, we have seen rain since Saturday across the valley. It's kind of been on and off the last few days. Uh, the real impact with this winter storm was in the mountains where they've been inundated with snow. But we've still seen some rain in the valley. Uh, Orville Dam says seen about an inch and a half, whereas the city of Orville has only seen about uh, uh, six tenths of an inch. And then once you go to Chico, they've seen 0.68 inches of rain. Red Bluff seen just over a quarter, and Red Bluff a Redding has seen over an inch of rain as well, and that was recorded at the Redding Airport since Saturday. We're going to be seeing more rain today. That's all thanks to this winter storm that is still hovering right off the coast, but it's eventually going to spin itself out and head towards Southern California for tomorrow, which will leave us drier tomorrow. So that's some good news, but you can, you can still expect up to half an inch of rain in some parts of the valley for today, and that uh, highest total will mainly happen near Redding tonight. Once you go into the mountain locations, you could still see an extra four inches to maybe even a foot of snow. Snow levels will still be hovering around 2,500 feet to 4,000 feet. But let's zoom in to see what we are seeing. There's those showers right there in Oroville and in Chico, but notice how they're really beginning to move into the foothill regions. So the showers should begin to stop here in the next hour in the valley. But snow is still continuing across parts of the Sierra, and that has not let up at all in the last few days and will continue to snow out there at least through the day today. We're seeing a few light showers in Trinity County, but otherwise we look good to go for this morning. A look at that future cast and time out that rain for you. We're still going to be seeing those showers across the area for today. By tonight, we still have heavy snow happening in parts of the Sierra. Maybe some more showers in the North Valley and near Chico. And then once we go to Wednesday morning, we still have the chance for a few showers in the valley, but they clear out by Wednesday afternoon. And the rest of the day on Wednesday into Thursday, we look to be drying out in that forecast. But today is St. Patrick's Day. So let's take a look at your morning. 43 degrees, still cold and wet. Once you go to the afternoon, 52, still cool with some light showers in that forecast. And if you want to get outdoors for St. Patrick's Day, the evening looks the best time to do it as you will see the least showers in the evening hours with 45 degrees. So you're still going to want that jacket all day long. As for the seven day forecast in Chico, high of 51 today, St. Patrick's Day as well. We dry out as we go to tomorrow, then the first day of spring. It is on Thursday, and we warm into the 60s as well, so that's some great news. Once we go to Friday, more clouds in that forecast. A slight rain chance on Saturday and Sunday, mainly confined to parts of the Sierra. And then once you go to Monday, that's when the next winter storm enters the area, although the next one might be a little weaker. As for a look at your Redding forecast, we got a high of 48 degrees for today. So it's going to be a cold day in Redding today, high of only 55 for tomorrow. A few showers are possible in the morning. We dry out Wednesday afternoon, and the first day of spring is on Thursday, high of 63 in Redding. And then we warm into the upper 60s on Saturday. Then some showers could move in on Sunday and on Monday. Julia, back to you. Putting out the call for help, the Red Cross says it needs more donations. Consumers could see major changes at the pump. We'll explain why. And the election season continues amid coronavirus fears. Now, three states, voters are set to cast their votes.